Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to bust open this Art Snacks Inktober Collection 2020 edition box, but it's a mouthful. We're also going to have a look at some of the pieces I created when I had tried to tackle Inktober in the past. If you're not familiar with Art Snacks or Inktober, Art Snacks is a monthly subscription box service that was founded in 2013. Today, they have two subscription box sizes, both of which are filled with high quality, full size art supplies. Overall, I found it to be a fun way to try new products, be introduced to products I've never tried before, and you really can't beat it because it's delivered straight to your door. As for Inktober, it's a 31 day inking or drawing challenge that takes place in the month of October. The challenge was created by artist Jake Parker in 2009 as a personal challenge to help strengthen his inking skills and develop better inking habits. Since then, Inktober has turned into a worldwide challenge with thousands of artists flooding social media with their inky creations under the hashtags Inktober and Inktober followed by the year, so Inktober 2020. To help artists who decide to participate, Inktober started releasing an official prompt list in 2016, which provides one prompt word a day. This helps avoid the common, what the heck do I draw today dilemma. That brings us to the Art Snacks Inktober Collection 2020 edition box. Since 2017, Art Snacks and Inktober have joined forces to put together a box full of inking supplies to help prepare artists for the month long craze that is Inktober. Now for the fun part. Let's crack this thing open and see what's inside. This box was available for pre-order months ago. I believe the purchase window started in July and closed the end of August. I bought mine in August for $79. Add the shipping of $12.15, it brought the total to $91.15. This box was not cheap. That said, I am surprised by the quality and the amount of supplies found inside. We'll have a look at the cost of each item if bought individually, see how it adds up in the end, and see if there was much in terms of savings. First up, we have the snack in Art Snacks, a snack-sized cherry-flavored airhead. Then we have the Inktober sticker. This is pretty cute. It looks like a sketchy ink blot. Next up is the menu card, which lists all the supplies included in the box along with information about each item. Then we have this Inktober card. On the back, it has a website link and a password to access an inking class called How to Ink Class with Jake Parker. The class retails for $30. I love this pencil case. I love the Stitch Inktober name and logo. I love the colors, black with the silver zip and red lining. This thing is eye-catching and quality-wise, I definitely can't complain. According to the menu card, it retails for $13.25. Moving on to the Liquitex Pro Acrylic Ink in Carbon Black. I definitely don't own this already. I'm not sure if I've ever even used it before. The menu card says it's made from 100% carbon black pigment, is extremely fluid, is waterproof, and retails for $7.99. Next up, we have Marabou Graphic Aqua Inks in three colors. They are listed as ultra bright, pigmented watercolor inks that are transparent, highly light fast, and retail for $9.99. Then we have a Posca Extra Fine Paint Marker in white. These I am familiar with. I have one in a larger nib size. They are great for adding highlights to your work. They are opaque, water-based, right on all surface types, and retail for $3.99. Next we have a King Art Original Gold 9000 Series Golden Taclon or Taclon Round Brush. This thing is teeny tiny. It should be a great little brush for detailed line work. According to the menu card, it retails for $7.99. Then we have a Copic Gas and Food <laughs> brush pen. Is that how you say it? Gas, Gas and Food? No idea. But I do have a ton of Copic liners and I love them. Funny enough, I don't have this one. The card says it retails for $7.49. Everything Copic is on the expensive side. Quality wise though, not that surprised. Can't complain. Next up, a Lennox cotton paper pad by Legion Paper. I have never seen or tried this brand before. I'm not even sure if I've ever used cotton paper. The menu card says it's sturdy and absorbent, so it should pair perfectly with the ink. There are 15 pages that are off-white, have a medium texture, and the pad retails for $12.55. Last but not least for supplies, we have a square 7.87 by 7.87 inch Inktober Plumchester sketchbook. The highlight of the sketchbook though is the artwork. The cover features Jake Parker's artwork and it wraps around the sketchbook from front to back. It retails for $24, bringing the total to $117.25 if you had bought everything in this box individually. 
The box is definitely not a disappointment when it comes to the quality of supplies, the amount of supplies, and cost. It looks like I saved $26.10 by buying the box rather than buying each item individually. It's not a bad deal. Last year I didn't buy the Art Snacks Inktober box, but I did buy the sketchbook they put out that year. The quality was fantastic, but what sucked me into buying it was the Inktober logo on the cover. This year's definitely tops last year's. Same quality, so I know I'll love it, but I think it's a fun added detail having it feature artwork from the artist who actually created Inktober. Now that we've had a look through all the items, let's have a look at some of the drawings I created in the past while attempting <laughs> to tackle Inktober. I say attempting because I've never made it through the full 31 day challenge and I honestly question whether or not anyone actually does. Drawing every day is a lot harder than it sounds. In 2018, I decided I would try Inktober for the first time. I only made it two days. The first word was poisonous. From that, I imagined a bottle of poison that spilled over onto a surface. I wanted to make it look like the liquid was bubbling on the surface with the appearance of skulls in the bubbles. Clearly I didn't finish it. I would like to go back to this one at some point though. One funny thing about this drawing, I remember when I was working on it, I actually tried to pick up the cork in the drawing to move it because it looked like it was in my way while I was trying to draw. I had a good laugh at myself over that one. The second drawing I actually skipped to day three's prompt, roasted. I instantly thought of roasted vegetables, but I thought realistically drawing them would be boring. Then I pictured them as characters, which is funny because I'm not a character artist by any means, but I had a lot of fun with this and I was really happy with how it turned out. Then in 2019, I decided I would try Inktober again, <laughs> this time in a fancy Inktober sketchbook. I made it uh, two and a half days. I say half because two of the drawings I finished, but with the last one, I only had a sketch. The first prompt was ring, which made me think of a ringing phone. Nothing too crazy, it's pretty straightforward, but it was still good practice and I liked how it turned out. Day two's prompt was mindless. Between day one's ring and day two's mindless, it made me think of mindless chatter. I wanted to draw someone sitting in a chair with a bit of a stylized, zombie, blank, empty look on the phone with blah 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 written to the right, starting in larger text at the top of the page, gradually getting smaller as it went to the bottom. I like the idea. I might revisit it eventually. The last one I did was day three's prompt bait. How could a girl who was once nicknamed bait not tackle the word bait? I instantly thought of a worm on a hook, staring down at the water, horrified, waiting to be gobbled up by a hungry fish. I like this one a lot. Again, I'm not a character artist by any means, but it made me laugh. And that's it. That's all the supplies in the Art Snacks Inktober Collection 2020 edition box and my two attempts at Inktober. Will I try it again this year? I'm not sure. I would definitely like to, but it's actually a big undertaking, as silly as that sounds. I think this year I will tackle some of the prompts, but being realistic with myself, there's no way I'm getting through all 31 of them. For now, I'll just aim to complete more than two and a half. And that's all we have for today. Until next time, I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.